Welcome back to the Bright Side here on 10 Tampa Bay. A lot to talk about here during our Hurricane Headquarters hit, so let's get right to it. Four systems out there with the potential for development over the next five days. Two of them have a high chance of development. In fact, those are the two closest to the lower 48. Let's talk about those first, okay? So we'll take you down into the Caribbean. Invest 99L, uh, right now moving through the eastern into the central Caribbean as we speak. An area of low pressure actually starting to show a little more organization early this morning. As of the last check from the Hurricane Center, that system has a high chance of development. And then an area of low pressure that brought us all the rain yesterday off the southeast coast. This system also has a high chance of development. So you look at both of those systems, both have a 70 and then 80% chance of developing over the next five days. But neither one of them posing a threat for the lower 48. But obviously those across Central America will have to watch that system uh, moving to the west over the next couple of days. So we're watching both of those and then the two other systems in the eastern Atlantic and actually a tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa likely to develop once it moves over the warm waters of the Atlantic. That system has a 30% chance of development and that that second system that's currently over the Atlantic doesn't look all too promising, but hey, it's got a long way to go. 10% chance of development right now. Obviously, the peak of hurricane season is on its way. We'll see that peak of hurricane season hit on September 10th.